वी आर नाउ क्वेरिंग द डेटा बेस थ्रू द डिजाइनर अप्रोच वी हैव जनरेटेड द ओ आर एम मॉडल्स नाउ वी शेल नाउ वी शेल डिमॉन्स्ट्रेट हाउ वी कैन परफॉर्म ए क्वेरी ऑन ए डेटा बेस टेबल थ्रू द मॉडल्स दैट हैव बीन जनरेटेड बाय द ओ आर एम डिजाइनर in the previous lecture we in the previous example we had done the modeling ourselves we had done the mapping ourselves and this time the same thing has been done by the orm and we also learnt in the last lecture that the first two steps only differ whereas the remaining step query and for each they remain the same the first two steps about obtaining data they differ when we obtain data from a collection straight way or when we obtain data from the modeling that has been done by us and similarly in this case also the modeling has been done by the orm so these steps will still continue to be the same the only difference would be how to connect to the data once the data is with us we can use the link queries to query the database and to display the results using the for each in exactly the same manner the only difference is about these two steps in our current example we shall display the entire records of the tbl doctors we shall display the entire table in our present example and this is the simplest possible thing that can be done so that you get started we can have a look at our table tbl doctors basically we have to show the email the name and phone of the doctor we'll display each record using the orm generated models so let us see how we can do it we'll click on the solution explorers add the controllers as usual add controller home controller add and here as usual change it into string and get data and add a private string get data here and now we have to start writing the code in this block open the solution explorers so these are the entity models folder where we added our entities we had right clicked on this one and gone to add new item and here we had chosen this one so this is the folder that is with us the first step which you should which you should always do is first of all add wherever you want to use the orm classes you should write at the top the namespace for the folder that contains your entity classes so i've written using entity next now now next thing is you should be aware of the name of your database 
your database name is db patient entities patients entities actually this was not the name that we gave us we had given it db patients but it has renamed the connection to that one but the point is that you should know the name of your database your database is db patients it will automate to now proceed further you should write db and the intellisense will bring it it generates this class by suffixing entities to the name of your database i am minimizing it this way and coming here then i'll write ctxt is equal to new and so this needs to be seen here that is this is the class orm has generated for you if the database name is dbx then it will generate dbx entities if the database name is customers then it will generate customers dot entities customers entities you have to make an object disposable object of db patients entities no connection string is to be passed it will automatically pick that connection string from the web.config let me show you the web.config first you can the last one at the bottom i'm folding it so that you can see the entire web.config one at the last double click it and here you will find this connection string by the same name db patients entities this connection string contains your connection string inside a connection string uh, path here here you will have to modify this for the exact ip location of your this is the connection string that your dba can provide you so you will have to put that connection string inside this string it could differ for your particular case it could include ip address password or whatever is required so this is the place where you can put it and here so this is what i'm saying is that you can put the you can go through this and make proper replacements for your actual database and next let us come back to our this one the context will automatically query your database through this connection string and by relating to this connection strings in web.config so nothing to save the connection string in this file like we did in the previous case then then we are to obtain where query is equal to ctxt dot tbl doctors this is the query that we have written here context has a property called tbl doctors that will give you a collection of all the doctors in schematic form it also contains a property for tbl patients these are pluralized this gives you access to the entire table this property is pluralized so that it is readable right now i am querying my doctors so i'll write tbl doctors nothing else is to be done now coming to a string builder i'll have to resolve it right click resolve using system dot text this is what was to be added at the top is equal to new string builder now i'll go to my for each loop for each 
where we inquiry now i can write sb dot append format and i'll write name is equal to 0 or phone is equal to just any random data then an hr and comma now name comes in i'll write v dot name the entire intelligence is available v dot its phone and here we can write return sb dot to string let me run and show you the results so we have got the correct results name is n1 phone is p1 this is what we had added the entire list of all the three doctors is available so now just to summarize so that it sticks to your mind this should be the first line derived from the name of your database class is searchable but first do add a using at the top otherwise it will become a little difficult and then you can put the query ctxt.tbl doctors you get the entire list execution still occurs here only so it's damn easy and if you want to put further filtering or ordering you can put dots as you, as you were doing earlier nobody can imagine how simple database connectivity becomes here try to compare it with your radio.net older techniques data reader this that that all you don't have to do now and it is equally fast and efficient so we'll stop here in the next lectures we'll discover more features how to do more and after that we'll be closing into adding the view displaying the data on the view so this is that final doorway to our journey to the view